Dave Divkovich with Canadians Abroad. I'm here with former NFL running back Marshall Falk. Marshall, tell us about your golf game and what you do to prepare. Um, you know, I practice a lot, play a lot, uh, living in, uh, well, spending a lot of time in San Diego. Um, I'm afforded good weather to play and practice a lot of golf during the football season when I'm working for NFL Network. But, um, you know, just getting out playing, working at it. Uh, it's a grind. Um, I found this game to be um, uh, a mental juggernaut. <laughs> you know, it's different than having an opponent who you can hit uh, and that may hit back. This game, it doesn't take any hits and it only punches. So do you find it more difficult playing golf than it was playing professional ball? Um, without a doubt. And uh, when I say it's difficult, I mean mentally. Mentally, it's a challenge to, uh, to get out here and, and play uh, each and every day, each and every shot. Um, you hit a bad shot, you have to set up and expect to hit a, a good shot as if the last shot did not happen. Now, when you suffer injuries in NFL, it's a lot different from golf. Like, do you find that going from professional sport to, you know, playing golf is like from playing football to golf is a lot different on your body? Oh, yes. Um, it's a little bit more relaxing, uh, whereas playing professional football, uh, your knees, your, your shoulders, your neck, all that stuff is, is at risk in golf. You know, it's more your wrist, your back, um, your elbow, your shoulders and stuff like that. So this year you were inducted in the NFL Hall of Fame. Tell us about that and what it meant to you. Oh man, that's uh, without a doubt a great, great accomplishment. Um, you know, it's a, it's a test not just to what I did and the numbers that follow me, but all the guys that that I played with, that blocked for me, that helped me accomplish the things that I accomplished. Um, you know, I'm I'm lucky, man. I'm a lucky guy to to have that opportunity to be afforded that opportunity. And now you're from New Orleans. Tell us what it meant to you when New Orleans won the Super Bowl for the community and for you personally. Oh, man. Um, without a doubt, uh, a highlight of my life. Uh, that's my childhood team. Grew up watching the Saints, loving the Saints. And um, having an opportunity to be there at that game and watch them, uh, man, it was amazing. And now when you won... You guys were 16 and three, and now you're 0 and six. Do you think the team can do to turn around this year? Well, um, you know they got their first win on Sunday. They're, they're one and six now. Um, ho hopefully, uh, uh, you know they can turn it around and start start playing like they are capable of playing, like the talent is on that team. And um, unfortunate for me, uh, the team that they beat was the Saints. So, <laughs> you know, kind of double-edged sword for me. Uh, uh, watching a team that hadn't won a game beat a team that, that I've been rooting for, and I root for both teams, so uh, it was a win-win situation. That's good to hear. Thanks a lot for talking with us. I'm David Ivkovich with Canadians Abroad.